Speaking of things that are well over a uh, hey, speaking of things that are well over ten years old. Yes. The big news that rocked this fan base is that ESPN Thirty for Thirty is doing a uh, uh, episode on the Stanley Cup riot. Mm -hmm. Is that necessary? I mean, I missed the riot, so I'm I'm so excited to see what I missed. Yeah, you saw it on tape delay from Italy. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I just I've I've blocked it all out, and I don't know why we need to go. Like, why is this important to go back to this specific stupid event that happened that had nothing to do? You. I have an idea. What? Because sports has been really boring for about 50 like, years. Like, what was it you who was like, so we need to watch them smash windows at the Bay in London Drugs? Like, like I need to see that guy. Remember the, the photo of that, uh, I'm just going to, the, the Asian man mm-hmm. with, like, the loose buckled belt and the, holding the thing, yelling. Like, I'm like. The jersey, yeah. The jersey. I'm like, do we, why do we need to go back to this? I'm not opposed to it. I think I wouldn't mind a proper in-depth look at it because all we kind of remember is like there's a lot more elements to it and like all i kind of remember is like the shame in the morning of like vancouverites going and sweeping up glass and right and the we're sorry we did this to our city but like from like a you know a logistical and almost tactical approach like i want to hear like maybe hey why this happened how this happened because the you know City Hall definitely flubbed well, the ball with that one because they yeah. wanted to recreate another uh, a, another Olympics yeah. photo, you know, right. picturesque yeah, scenario yeah. with no cops. Like, yeah, there was there's reasons why this thing happened. Well, I mean, ha- I think there's reasons how it happened. It's mm-hmm. more so like why it happened, like who instigated it. Yeah, and, and like, like what was the moment? Like, I think when you're not a part of it, but you're a fan of the city in which it's happening Mm. you're still like reeling from the loss yeah so you're so you're like licking those wounds your your team is losing or has lost and then there's there's this happening and you don't really take it in like i'm sure you guys never took a moment to be like wow what is (laughs) happening right who started this who lit that car on fire in front of a canada post and why what was the thought process (laughs) yeah so you were in Italy at the time? Yes, I was. And Ryan, where were you? I was at my, me and Ariel's basement suite in Kits. Oh, okay. And so not too far. Well, not some some good. people that were there actually left to go, that not weren't really friends, left to go to the riot. Oh, they Or they left to go to the good. Roxy, one of the wait, two. Wait, 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 wait. Th- there's a big it. definition between they didn't, like... Not, nobody I know was involved yeah. in any criminal activity that night. Yeah. But I... I don't know. I'm just, I'm a little intrigued by it. And I think that I found the response from mm-hmm. Canuck fans really funny yeah. where it's like, there are so many more interesting angles to talk. And I'm like, no, yeah, really- listen, ESPN is looking, is clamoring to tell an na- international audience mm-hmm. about Manny Malhotra fitting in on the third or fourth line <laughs> and the impact he left in only under a year. Like, no, it's not a sexy or exciting team. It's a, no. it's a unique story to tell. And I also, um, the one of the people that's involved, I actually read the press release, and that woman that does the the Grizzlies, um, Kathleen Jamie, yeah, she's involved in it. Yeah. it. She's one of the two people, like um, Finding Big Country, and then Where oh, Are My Grizzlies? Grizzled, the, okay. yeah, the Grizzly grizzled, Truth, the Grizzly Truth. So I think I think it's going to be um a bit of a in depth yeah. deep dive. I also think that it's not going to be lol. Look how dumb Canuck fans are, right? And I'm also really I, I I put this on Twitter for a laid back and flaky region and mm. a flaky casual people that mm. Vancouverites are. Why are there so many damn riots in our history? Find out for me. Uh, I'd like to know. Are there more than upwards of two? Uh, there's the Guns and Roses oh, riot. Okay. There was riots at Expo. There was riots during the or there was some protests well, during the Olympics. Been, like, there's been riot like there's been riots in Toronto, Montreal. Like there's been riots elsewhere. It's just like the, I don't think that these there have been such um, very like highly publicized well, riots. No one- Vancouver isn't a city you expect riots from, and yet it's a city you expect but, riots from. But the th- yeah, but the thing is, like, also... Like, like if they go to the, on a Stanley Cup run next season and then lose dramatically, I'm sure there might be another riot. Because <laughs> people... What, what basically They're happened... They're like, we must. It, it's our history. Yeah, well, what basically <laughs> happened was, like, people from... Not to section off that this was yeah. only one section, but people came from outside of the downtown core and outside of like we're talking north van 
Fraser Valley, etc. Right. There were just some people. It's it's like the fucking Woodstock 2000s thing. Yeah. Where it's like ten people. Came, hmm? It's like a small section of people that come there and they, they came and explicitly win yeah. or lose. We're gonna start doing stupid shit. Right. And then mob mentality took over. Lack of police presence took over. Right. Um. And then it just kind of we got all out of hand. It, it, also, people have been probably day drinking and you just lost For the Stanley sure. Cup. And guess what? If it if Dwayne Rollison made one more save in the Eastern <laughs> Conference Finals. Guess what, guys? Vancouver's a Stanley Cup champion. They're yeah. beating Tampa in the yeah. final. And, and there's some of us that uh, we emoted through tears, and other people emoted through just blind rage. And I, I don't think if... Um I don't think there will ever be a time where there isn't a police presence any longer. Oh, yeah. no. Like, dude, it is like you. Oh, you want to you want to go on a bike ride? Swat. <laughs> like, it just doesn't matter, you know. Um, I just, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. Like, looking back at that time, like, I, I went to the, we've talked about it on the pod, but I went to, like, the Boston Pizza in, yeah. in on Lonsdale. And then by the second period, I knew it was over and the depression was kicking in. I right. got a cab and I just went home and yeah. then I slept in my house and I woke up and shit was burning. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, I just I just don't know like what other angles there are to this really. It's not a very well, complicated here, story. It's, it is a complicated yeah. story because you talk about other fan bases when like it, whether it's Toronto or other yeah. thing, their first thing that they chirp at you or if a Canucks fan is riots, riots, riots. Yeah. If ESPN does a story properly and it's told through the, the views of a Vancouver filmmaker mm-hmm. like Kathleen, Kathleen they might kind of depict the stories that we experience the right. sadness and the shame and not about like we're a bloodthirsty shitty city mm-hmm. they could they could contextualize this as as a issue that we all unfortunately are stuck with and it's not like here's a bunch of rabid idiots that don't know how to support a team or or save a city it, it could yeah. be told they could do it justice. If the one thing that comes out of this is that finally, like, there's a bit more nuance shown to the idea that this isn't just Canucks fans that are really upset about losing. Yeah. Like, listen, we have lost a <laughs> lot during the iteration of this <laughs> sports franchise. We're okay with losing. Some say it's kind of our thing. We love, we kind of love losing, and it's what we're well, familiar the with. Le- the Leafs are right oh, there. They're gearing up no. for a big L, a big L there. It's, Come on. It's okay. When Brian Elliott takes over for Andre Vasilevsky and sweeps them. And <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's because I blocked out so much of the stuff that, that happened after, yeah. after even uh, the series. I think I've just blocked. After game two, I just blocked everything out because everything was just like trauma. Right. Yep. And Lapierre's goal is the only other good thing hey going to the archives me and pmac did two and a half hours on the 2010 2011 season it's very thorough and uh a rash won't listen to it yeah because i don't have access to the patreon oh it's for i i released it on the 10-year uh, oh, anniversary i'm looking like a schmuck 